We'd like to welcome you to another edition of Rick Davis Talking Gold. We'll have some things that hopefully are helpful to you and, and are entertaining and a little bit of fun mixed along the way, so stay tuned. How does Rick Davis see hundreds of people every day and nobody waits over 15 minutes? It's simply the system. Check in with the Golden Girls first. They divide your jewelry into plastic bins. Next, wait for your number to be called. This may be my favorite part because it is never a long wait and it gives me the opportunity to look around the showroom. Then, when my number is called, I get to see Rick or Jason. Both of them are great. They give me a value on my items and I decide if I want to sell it or not. Of course, I always do because Rick pays the best. Last, I sign out with Miss Norma. She is really a gem and I'm on my way. I always have a great time with Rick and his friendly staff. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Now you can watch Rick Davis Talking Gold anytime on Rick's YouTube channel. Just type in www.youtube.com backslash user backslash Rick Davis buys gold. Rick Davis Gold of Diamonds your friend in the jewelry business. We'd like to remind you to stop by the store at 5301 Brainerd Road. Come in and chat with us. We're always there to answer your questions. And remember, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. All right. What do we got here? The SI cut diamonds. About a carat and a half. 14 carat white gold. It doesn't say the 14 carat on it. It's got my great grandma, great grandfather. Love RD on the inside. Love RD. It's love Rick Davis. Yeah. <laughs> That's good initials. What are you trying to get out of it, bro? I like to give it up. 17 to 2. Never happened. For what we offer. These diamonds are broke all to pieces, three of them. Oh, there's a couple. I, that was an original ring that we had separated into three different rings that he had. Yeah, it was European cut diamonds, old mine cuts. They've got open, they're, they're probably, these stones was probably cut around the turn of the century, 1900s, 1910. They're not round, brilliant cut. What kind of offer have you had on it so far? I haven't, I haven't had any other offer on it yet. I don't know what this inside is. This, this right here. Oh. I know the value of it's roughly 2,500. It'll go 3,500 as far as appraisal, but. It's just a large signet ring that somebody has. Uh... One of those diamonds, that's right, I had that, I had the ring made up. You had it, mate? Yeah. And they, uh, one of the diamonds actually came out at one point. I found it, they put it back in, and then after that, one other time, a diamond came out. I couldn't find it. They replaced it for free and put a new diamond back in it. And then, and it was one of the big ones. They, they either, if they were, one of them is broke all to pieces, has no value, one of the big ones. And two of the small ones is broke all to pieces. And then the other big one, you know, it's just, they're all European cuts, so if they, if they matched them, they matched them well. Um, but, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to cut your ring down. I'm just trying to explain to you the, why they are. Oh, the ring's worth about $600 in real cash money. Okay. Now, take that number times 600% markup. So 600 times six is 3,600. Right. That's retail on it. That's what right. that ring would be tagged or priced if it was laying in on some of the mall stores. Right. They market 3,600. They have a half price sale. It's $1,800 on sale. They've still got six or seven hundred dollars in it, labor and everything. Right. And if you had it mounted at this, they probably sold you the mounting for nine hundred dollars, which is two times the gold content. So they double their gold content, 
and they charged you labor for setting all those stones. That's something you'll never get back. Yeah. The labor and you know, unless you find somebody that likes that ring, they like the look and they want to wear it for their own personal ring. Right. Then you then you stand a chance of asking well, you know, I for sentimental purposes, really, yeah. you know, because my yeah. great grandfather gave it. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand. The only thing, I mean, I want top value out of it when I get well, it. Well, what I was, was going to tell really, you, I was really wanting to like trade it for an engagement ring yeah. with my girlfriend. Well, you've got six hundred dollars worth of real money there. Okay. I mean, that's just green cash money. That's no no labor, no stone setting, no nothing. That's just diamond worth and gold worth. Right. But if you traded it in, you could get probably. $1,200 as a trade-in on another set of rings. Or if you sold it to somebody that liked it as a ring and show them $3,600 as being retail, and tell them, look, I don't want to sell it, but I'm, I'm in some trouble and I need to get some money together, I'll take $1,800 for it. You might find somebody that says, oh, I love it, I'll buy it. You know, that's what you're looking for is the perfect scenario. Right. Somebody likes it, they got the money, and they want it. Yeah. You know, otherwise you're just all you're going to do is turn it into green money, and that's about six hundred bucks, maybe seven hundred dollars. That's not worth it, too. But you know, I mean, at least you know what you got now. Right. I mean, it's not, and that way you're not throwing in the dark. Right. Uh, if you come in here and bought a set of my wedding rings, if I had eighteen hundred dollars on them, I'd probably give you nine hundred for the that is trade in, even though it's six or seven. Right. You're buying from me, so I'm gonna knock some of my profit off. Show that, and then you pay the difference. So it, you know, Works out. you're on the you're on the right path as far as to get the most out of your ring. Yes. Okay. But uh, you know, anytime you want it, you can walk in here and get six, seven hundred dollars. Okay. If you have good luck selling it, then somebody that wants it, that likes it, then make them pay you fifteen hundred for it. Okay. You know, I'd put my I'd put my price down a little bit, not on seventeen, right. but fifteen. That makes it attractive for anybody okay. that likes it. Okay. okay? Thank you. All right, brother. Yes, sir. Through these infomercials, I've heard people say that they've learned things, they know more about their gold, they understand their silver, they understand their diamonds, they understand their coins. We will inform you, we will teach you, we will show you the markets, we'll show you what they're worth, and it's your decision to sell or keep it. At least you know what you have, so enjoy the show. Pay close attention and we'll give you some numbers and things that'll be very helpful in whether you're buying or selling anything to do with the jewelry, coins, or diamonds. Thank you, enjoy the show, and we thank you for watching. talking to Rick Davis from over at Rick's Gold and Diamonds. We've, we've had a lot of fun with him since we got to know him and he's here tonight. He's going to give you a lesson tonight in Diamonds 101 and he's got it all fixed out over here for you so we can have a little fun with it. Judy, we're going we're gonna to go through this thing and it's, it's short and sweet, it's to the point, literally easy, Diamonds 101. If you will write down some of these notes that I'm fixing to give you, you can you can absolutely, if you'll remember just these points, you can absolutely take this. This is what I started with. The thing that made me want to do this is I started trying to understand points, different things on a diamond, different things to look for. These are some of the main points. These are just, this is this is the first grade. Remember, you're back in, in you're just going to school. The top of the the stone is referred to as the table. That's the area blocked from here to here, the table. The line that goes separating in the middle, this is referred to as the girdle. These lines that run across it, that give it the refractive, uh, the look, the shine, the light bouncing back and forth is called facet junctions. The very tip on the bottom is a culet. Four very, very key points to a diamond. The first things that you learn is that that's what those areas are on a diamond. Now, what you look for in these diamonds, and you have everybody talking and looking, and well, what is that? What is them black spots? Are they diamond mites? Are they flies? Or what are they? 
These are old dead dinosaurs. This is, this is a spot of carbon. It, it can be any kind of a shape. It's like a snowflake. No two of them are alike. But the, the carbon spot on there can, can be of that, that look, or it can be round, snowflaked. It could be anything you want to see, but just a black. And you're looking at the internal part of the diamond. You're looking inside the diamond. When you look at it with a loop, you're looking inside, but you're looking for black specks. Also, you're going to see some, some frosty spots on the diamond. When you're looking at these frosty areas, they kind of, you know, they're not necessarily black, but they look like little clouds in there, little fried places like when you was a kid, you used to fry marbles. Those are called occlusions. This is just another flaw that you look for in diamonds. Now here we've got, this is one of the grades that's called IF. You're going to get all the grades here in just a little five or ten minute nutshell. IF stands for internally flawless. We're looking down inside the diamond and there's what you see. You see absolutely no spots, no specks, no anything. This is a grade that's not thrown around very easily. Uh, it's thrown around probably, you know, you hear people say, well, this is a flawless diamond. Well, there's not many of them flawless. But if you're looking at a flawless stone, this is what you see, internally flawless. That means the interior of the stone has no flaws. It might have a nick on the side, it might have other things, but internally flawless, no carbon, no occlusions. You go from that to, and these grades are very strict. This is a Gemology Institute of America. And you can't, you can't compare their grading system to what I've got on these papers. But I'm like I said, this is the first grade. You've got to start somewhere. And the easier you make it, the more fun it is. The, it's what got me involved in it. And, you know, it wasn't so complicated. I couldn't understand it. And I started taking notes. And then you study and you look. And, you know, 36 years later, you can grade these things. I'm certified gemologist grader for GIA. Have been for about 12 years. Um, and it's just, it's how you make your money. But, but you, this is a grading system that's recognized worldwide. So that when you've got that little thing looking down through that, that's what you're looking this at. This is what you're looking at. And this diamond. is going to be a quick deal going through. If you remember, this IF stone that we looked at had nothing in it. You see how minute those two little spots are in that yeah. one? That stands for VVS, stands for very, very slightly included now there's a there's a black speck that you'll see in one part of this that is a spot of carbon you'll see a couple of little faint marks that are occlusions in there now there's also vvs1 and vvs2 vs1 and vs2 gets to instead of very very slightly this is very slightly not very very but very very slightly included to the first power or the second power, you start seeing more spots. You start seeing more specks. This is this is blowing this diamond up to where you're actually looking at it, where it looks like it's the size of a basketball. But you're looking at it with the eyepiece, with your diamond loop. That's what you're looking for. You wonder why jewelry stores sometimes, if you ask them, well, may I borrow your loop? Oh, we don't have loops. Well, the reason they don't have loops is they don't want you to see all the flaws. They don't want you to look and be able to grade this diamond. They don't want you to be a professional. They're the only professionals. So think about what I'm saying. Look at your grade. A loop and looking for these marks, it's just good common sense that you look at. Don't let it scare you. There's nothing scary about it. Take the loop and look at it. Eventually, you'll see something in there that looks like this. Start asking questions. What am I buying? How is it graded? We go from very slightly occluded to slightly included, there again, on first and second, slightly included one, slightly included two. As you see this, it gets more, more carbon spots, more occlusions, more flaws, they come more dominant in the stone. And each grade is a step down from the prior grade that I've showed you. This is slightly included, doesn't look too slightly to me, but it is under the grading scale. SI1, SI2, slightly included. Oh Imperfect. <laughs> we see these in stores all over the country. It used to be when mom and pop stores uh, took a lot of pride in their diamonds and things, you never ever seen these. In the old days, you hear people say about, this is back when a diamond was a diamond. 
they had no reason to sell this imperfect stones because they, they took pride in getting the VVS and VS quality stones. It was very little flaws in them and they pointed it out and they showed their buyers exactly what they were getting. Later years and greed and, and market, marketing and bigger companies, they've come to take these things. If you see a diamond out today and they call it a black diamond, if you see a black diamond, that is nothing more than a diamond that is so included with carbon that the entire stone looks black. Instead of having just these little spots, the entire stone is so full, it looks black. They used to be drill bits, and they couldn't find a way to market these things. Oh, look here, let's call it a black diamond and put it in some nice white silver jewelry. People will love it, and sure enough, they did. The, the people started buying them, and there's, there's a big market out there now for black diamonds, but they're nothing more than an included stone that is so far included that they couldn't do anything else with it except call it a black diamond. Promotional grade, oh, where'd that come from? This is one that we see, and this is a promotional deal that comes from, uh, I'm not gonna call store names, but your lower end stores or, or some of your stores that that actually put out credit and they don't really, you know, come on in, buy our jewelry, we'll put it on our easy credit terms and they make it, make it look like they don't care if you pay for it or not. In most cases, if it's this low a grade, the, the cost price is probably $100 for them to get this piece assembled. And it is a diamond, but it's a low grade. If you know how to look for it, then you know that this is probably not what you want but it's got a $600 price tag on it instead of $1,200 like some of the stores. Promotional grade, so they run this regular $600 diamond on sale today for $249, and this is what you're buying. The resale value on it is very, very low. It might be worth $80, $70, but if you don't look at it, you don't learn this, you don't know what you're buying, and you have to... You know, look for the stuff, read the labels, uh, getting back to the old guy that was, uh, I don't remember his name, the big guy that is, his whole thing was read the labels all the time. Uh -huh. But look, open your eyes, understand what you're buying and how you're buying it. And, you know, I see people every day that's buying things, they don't have a prayer what they bought. Diamonds, Actually, they don't. They do. Diamonds 101 will give you just a little bit of information that maybe Somewhere along the way will keep you from getting in trouble or not buying exactly what you think you bought. Now these grades that I just went through from internally flawless all the way to promotional, that's one of the C's. That's the clarity grade. Now we get into color, another C. Perhaps you'll remember this, and it, like I said, this is the first grade, guys, so you know, don't let it don't let it stress you out and don't make it complicated. If you look at this this graph right here, you have D, E, and F colorless. That's a, a diamond that has no apparent color to it. It looks like a clear pane of glass. There's no color, no nothing. Colorless, but D, E, and F is considered colorless. G, H, I is considered near colorless. It might have a faint little hue of some color in there, but as you look at this, you can't tell the difference. And, and a D, E, and F or a G, H, I, there's $300 difference in one, from a D, E, F to a G, H, I. So, you know, make them show you the grades. Understand what your grading colors are. You get into J, K, and L. You get into light or faint yellow. And I tried to show that where you've got a little, you know, just a shade, just a hue. You won't see it normally. You cannot, under high intensity lights, you cannot tell the difference. But if it's a J, K, or L, you're getting into light or faint yellow. M, N, O gets into the fancy colors and, and you see how dominant the yellow is. So, you know, it, and it becomes, it could be half that yellow and still be an M, N, or an O. What well, do they get need into, to be, do they need to be? Like light and shiny or yellow to be the more expensive? <clears throat> well, I mean, any of them can be a very, you know, depending on all the different areas, without getting it complicated, they can be, they can be a beautiful stone, a great graded stone, and still be worth a lot of money. But if you, if the color's down on it, unless you're wanting a yellow stone, 
it's not going to bring the kind of money that a D, E, or F colorless stone will. You know, it's just uh, the, perfect, the perfect stone is an internally flawless D colorless diamond, $17,000 for one carat stone wholesale. You know, and uh, uh, the bottom of the barrel, $700 for an included uh, promotional grade uh, M or N terrible looking, terrible color stone. So they're all over the, the spectrum. I mean, there's no, you know, a little bit of this, too much of that. I mean, it moves around and, and it's, it's very difficult to do. That's why I tried to make this part of it the simple, the simplicity of this is just, remember that it's in groups of three DEF colorless, GHI near colorless, JKL light, faint yellow, faint, faint color to it. MNO gets into fancy colors. Don't let these colors uh, scare you. It's just this is something that as you're looking at them, when you're buying a diamond or whether you're selling a diamond, understand this much about the color of it. It's just just a little way of helping you. And, and you know, like I said, this is Diamonds 101. This isn't going to make you... Uh, become a gemologist overnight. It's not gonna make you run out and able to sell it. But if you use some of these terminologies and, and eventually you get into it and you start to know what you're talking about, it's a great business. It's a fun business. Your cut, strictly cut, is different cuts from the trillion to the, to the marquee, to the oval, to the princess, to the round. Your colors, you know the ranges in color, D, E, F, G H I J K L M N, yeah. all your colors, all your clarities, and your carrots. Your carrots is just like a dollar. A hundred pennies is a dollar. A hundred points is a carrot, one carrot. Fifty points is a half carrot. Twenty-five points quarter. Thirty-three points third. Ten ten points a tenth. 66 points, two thirds of a carat. So it's just general math. Whatever your points are, 100 points equals the whole thing. So that's the way you figure. If you got 200 points, you got a two carat. 250 points is a two and a half carat. Math is no problem. Cut, color, clarity, and carat. Diamonds 101 what to look for, what to buy, and what not to buy. We've already determined. By the grades, and you remember what we said earlier was the VS, SI, I1, I2. So here's what you want. You want VS quality or at least SI quality. Once again, do not be afraid to ask for a loop. If they won't give you a loop, tell them you're going to go get you one. You might come back. If they don't want to give you a loop in a jewelry store, there's something in there that they don't want you to see. Get what you pay for. The only thing I'm trying to stress here is get what you pay for. A one carat internally flawless diamond D color is probably around $17,000. These are off the top of my head. Uh, I'm not going to miss it $100 either way, but a one carat internally flawless, $17,000. A one carat VVS, same, quality, same stone, same size, VVS, $3,500. One carat VS, 2800. One carat slightly included, 2300. One carat I grade imperfect, 1300. A one carat promotional, junk, fried, fried stone, it's a real diamond, $300. This is the same stone, the same size stone, just different grades of it. And there's probably not one out of 10 out there looking at this that would have any idea whether they was looking at a $3,500 diamond or a $1,300 diamond. You know, this gives you just a little so bit better said, education. So that's wholesale. That's Wholes wholesale. That's wholesale. This is wholesale prices, guys. Now, I'm gonna tell you a minute what retail does, but this is wholesale, this is cost. This VVS one carat stone at $3,500, store has it in their, in their showcase, it's gonna be $7,000. A uh -huh. one carat VS is gonna be, uh, $5,600, a one carat SI is gonna be $4,600. A lot of room in there for discounts, so if you know what you're talking about, anybody that wants to sell you a diamond, they're gonna get down and talk your terms if you understand the language. For most parts, middle of the road, middle of the scale, an SI1, SI2, GH color, that's the that's medium cost, best look, uh, that's what you're gonna see in a lot of cases. If you look at this stone, 
This is not a bad stone, very pleasing to the eye. It's moderately priced. And when you look at it, medium cost, best look, under a loop, under a 10 power or 20 power loop, you're gonna find that this stone has very few imperfections in it and it's it's just a good stone that's that's out there. You're not trying to buy investment grade and you don't wanna buy the bottom of the barrel, you don't wanna buy promotional. So keep these numbers in mind. SI1, SI2, GH, good stone to have. Remember that the cost that I gave you a few minutes ago, cost times two, cost times three, which is known as triple keystone, cost times four, cost times five, cost times six, six marks, six times whatever the cost is for a full-blown high-end retail. If you're gonna buy a diamond, think of it as an investment. Why would you wanna pay two and three and four times what it's worth if you can buy an investment, if you can buy a diamond at investment prices, which is the cost that we went over earlier, if you can buy this diamond as an investment for $3,000, invest another 200 and have it put in a mounting, your investment is good, it's solid, it's a $2,000 diamond, it's a $200 mounting, you got $2,300 in what retail would be $6,000. So invest in the diamond, put the money on your hand and enjoy it. You, you, your investment will never go down. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. No, diamonds have not gone down in price in 17 years. They'll fluctuate a little bit, but up or down, like people trying to tell you they ain't worth nothing no more, diamonds are a good investment, but you've got to buy them at cost, spend the money to put them in a mounting, and then know what your investment is and enjoy your investment. Wear it, don't leave it laying around in the safety deposit box, enjoy the stone. This is not trying to hurt you or bore you to death in any way, but if you remember these things and if you look at them, I hope you wrote them down. If you don't, I've got some things that I'll hand out that's GIA search that show you exactly what all this is in, in complicated terms. But uh, if anybody's interested, come by and ask me for a flyer and I'll give it to you at the store anytime. And just here again, it's trying to educate and help you save money. Whether you're buying or selling, you can save money if you go by some of these easy, simple, first grade rules on diamonds.